Good morning and welcome to our worship today. Once again, we're in the field, as so often our ancestors had to be. Today, our service has two themes. One, the life and work of Win William Tyndall, and of course, the given gospel for today, John the Baptist. Now our call to worship will be unusual today, but familiar, because it is all the words of William Tyndall. Am I my brother's keeper, the salt of the earth, the signs of the times, where two or three are gathered together, the burden and the heat of the day, they made light of it. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Eat, drink, and be merry. Clothe, and in his right mind, scales fell from his eyes, full of good works, a law unto themselves, the powers that be, filthy lucre, Let brother, brotherly love continue, the patience of Job. If not Proverbs, then it must be Shakespeare. All these phrases and many, many more were taken by the authorized version translators directly from Tyndall throughout the New Testament where the authorized version is direct simple and strong, what it prints is pure Tyndall. Yet William Tyndall's name is never mentioned. And now our first hymn is that old call to arms from John Bunyan. Who would true valor see, let him come hither. Let us pray. The words of hope I often fail to give, the prayers of kindness buried by my pride, the signs of care I argued out of sight, these I lay down, the narrowness of vision and of mind, the need for other folk to serve my will, and every word and silence meant to hurt, these I lay down. Of those around in whom I meet my Lord, I ask their pardon, and I grant them mine, that every contradiction of Christ's peace might be laid down. You will recognize these words as they come from a verse of John Bell and Graham Moll's hymn. I used them today in memory of Graham Moll, who died just last year, after a long and faithful service to the Iona community. Good morning, children. You will have recognized so many things in our call to worship, familiar words that come to us from William Tyndall. And I want you to remember that name, William Tyndall. In Fox's Book of Martyrs, which was published not long after Tyndall was died, murdered, at the behest of the established church, which he opposed by trying succeeding in translating the Gospels into English. Fox Book of Martyrs says, recounting one day's encounter, Master Tyndall happened to be in the company of a learned man, and in communing and disputing with him, drove him to that issue 
that the learned man said, we would better be without God's law than the Pope's. Master Tyndall, hearing that, answered him, I defy the Pope and all his laws, and said, If God spare my life, ere many years I will cause a boy that driveth the plough shall know more of Scripture than thou dost. And that was what drove him on what drove him to the continent. He had to leave England and he never got there again. He was martyred abroad, pursued by agents of Catholicism and the established church. And yet, like John the Baptist, who we will hear about so much in the reading and later on in the service, he was a forerunner a man who was prepared to risk his life for what he believed in. God's word in English to be understood by everyone. And now we sing again our next hymn, which comes to you from far away, Romania, but it is familiar to us all. Father, hear the prayer we offer. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Mark chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, and people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I cometh after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descended on him like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Amen. And may God bless to us this reading from his holy word. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Our text this morning is simple and familiar. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. It reminds you of Christ washing the feet of the disciples. The lowest, humblest job. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. And yet today I have coupled this great man, familiar from the Gospel, John, martyred for his faith and teaching, with a man who is almost entirely forgotten, William Tyndall, who gave us so much of the New Testament in vivid lifelike, recognisable, honest English, William Tyndall, who gave his life to bring us the gospel. And John did the same. He gave his life to introduce us to the word and life and teaching 
of Christ our Savior. It is well, all of us, to remember these heroes who brought us our faith, who introduced the ideas that move us today. 2,500 years, whatever, after these men died to bring us the good news. Honour our heroes and remember, remember what they did for us. Amen. And now we sing again that grand old favourite, but today it comes to us from Africa. And can it be that I should gain John Wesley from Africa? I think he'd be pleased by that. The offering would now be taken up, but all I'm saying to you is please don't forget the offering. And now let us pray. Loving God, when your son was held busy, fenced in by a pleading crowd, needy, curious, hoping he would find time for one more individual, for a new compassion is at the heart of your kingdom. Pilgrim God, our shoes are filled with stones, our feet are blistered and bleeding, our faces are stained with tears. As we stumble and fall, may we know your presence in the bleeding and the tears, and the healing and the laughter of our pilgrimage. God, we give you thanks for your Holy Spirit, plummeting into our lives like a gannet, white wings cleaving the grey waves, disturbing, delighting and defying death. Amen. And now, in the words your Son taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now we sing our last hymn today, number 544, When I Needed a Neighbour, Were You There? And it's well illustrated. May the blessing of Martha's welcome, the blessing of Mary's listening, the blessing of action and the blessing of reflection, the blessing of a God who is in each one of these be with us all evermore. Amen and thank you. And now as a little addition, something I hope you appreciate. It comes to you from Barcelona and you will recognize it immediately. From Handel's Messiah, Hallelujah. <laughs> 